Hey, what's up all? It's Jono here, and welcome back to Pokemon Black, and in fact, the final episode of this Let's Play. We've come a long way, but we're almost ready to finally take on the champion of the Unova region, and hopefully, we can become the new champion of this very region. So, last time, we defeated the... F well, we defeated the Elite Four once again, this time use the, them using stronger Pokemon, and for most of that run we did pretty well, although there were a few like moments that um, definitely got a little bit tricky, and in fact I need to do a whole bunch of healing, like I've had two of my Pokemon get knocked out by, uh, by uh, I think Marshall's Pokemon, so yeah, we need to uh, just do a quick bit of healing. Well, that should take no time at all. But one thing's for sure, all of my Pokemon have at least contributed a little bit to this Elite Four run, unlike my first, like, run against the Elite Four many episodes ago. Uh, also, you know what, I said I was gonna just use, uh, Mean Shao's, like, Drain Punch to heal her up, but you know what, let's just quickly get some health back up. There we go. Lovely. Perfect. And I still have all that Moo Moo milk. Uh, let's see. Oh man, I still got plenty of revives and max revives, even though I used a lot of them during that battle against Cynthia in, whatever, in whatever episode that was. But, that was in the past, this is now. We are ready to take on the champion of the Unova region. I just hope Team Plasma aren't gonna go, <laughs> surprise, we've come back with another castle and ready to take over the region and take all your Pokemon. <laughs> I really hope that's not going to happen this time, please. Please, let this just be a normal battle against the champion, please. I beg you, game, please just make this a bog-standard battle. <laughs> well, okay, so far so good. I mean, this is exactly like it was uh, last time. Going up the very, very long steps. And up even more steps. Okay. I forgot just how far we have to walk up. These are insane steps. If this was me in real life, I would have stopped ages ago to uh, take in, uh, to, uh, take in some breaths. <laughs> but man, here we are. Yep, I'm not seeing a castle this time. Nothing strange is happening. I'm seeing... This looks alright. Okay. Yeah, this looks alright. Okay. So far, so good. No Team Plasma hiding in the, uh, the pillars there. No. No. This looks like it's all good. I think we're actually having our championship battle here. Against the one and only older, we finally get an opportunity to battle against him. I am grateful for what you did about N. I don't know what he's thinking now, but I'm sure he realises that different people and Pokemon have their own paths to follow. Say now, how about a match with the strongest trainer in the Unova region? That I am very much up for. All right, Alder, let's see what kind of Pokemon you have. Okay, immediately not really a good option for Superior, I don't think. Um, hmm, should I switch Pokemon now? Or should I just take a chance? Let's just take a chance for now. Yeah. Although... Curiously, it still did half damage. Not gonna lie, I'm actually pretty impressed by that superior. Question is, is another Leaf Blade gonna be enough to knock you out? I wanna say it should, but it wouldn't surprise me if this game screwed me over. Well, might as well go for it. Oh no, you actually were kind enough to knock out that, uh, that Axel door. 
Ooh, Volcarona. Interesting. I caught one in a very recent episode. Okay, Volcarona. Uh, let's see. A bug and flying type, I believe it is. No. Fire type. Bug and fire. It would be best. Probably Sigilith, I think, with your flying type moves. Level 77, yikes. I mean, I am I'm a few levels higher than you, but that is quite a difference compared to most of the Elite Four's Pokemon. Uh, right, well, just fly for now, uh, Sigilith. Off you go. Quiver Dance. What does that do? Special Attack Rose and Special Defense. That's fine, because I'm using a physical-type move. Oh, wow, that actually made you faster than Sigilith by using uh, that Quiver Dance. That's not good. Oh, but not enough to knock you out. Although, Alder's probably going to heal you. What if I try and use Sky Attack? This is obviously going to be much stronger than uh, Fly, and you're going to waste time one turn to heal up. And even though you're probably going to hit me uh, after your next turn, as long as it doesn't knock out Sigilith, I should be able to knock you out for Corona, so let's use it. Sky Attack. Yep, indeed you are. You're going to use Full Restore, and that will give me an opportunity just to recharge, or charge up the attack, rather. Yep, you're going to use Overheat. Uh, that's going to do standard damage to Sigilith. And as long as you... Oh, wow. That completely obliterated Sigilith. I probably should have used Fly. Well, that sucks. Okay. Actually, considering you're part of Fire type and Bug type, I could probably get away with just using Dark Manitan. Yeah, my shiny Darmanitan is here. Uh, let's just use Fire Punch for now. Okay, just gonna use Quiver Dance. I mean, you're gonna boost your speed again, but you're already faster than Darmanitan, so that's not gonna have any effect. You're boosting your special defense, but you're not boosting your standard defense, so you're kind of exposing yourself a little bit there. Hmm, I wonder if you can use another full restore. Should I take a chance on Flare Blitz? Yeah, we're gonna do it. Oh, I really thought you were gonna use another uh, full restore. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. We'll just go overkill. <laughs> we'll just go overkill on you. Uh, Buffalant? Well, that's an easy uh, choice. Uh, I'm not going to revive um, Sigilith because I probably won't be using uh, Sigilith again now. Let's just use Mean Shao. Should be able to easily take care of his Buffalant. Probably don't even need to use High Jump Kick. I might as well just use Aura Sphere. Nice! Oh, critical hits, that's... I wonder if I would have knocked you out even if it wasn't a critical hit. Maybe I wouldn't. Um, I'm going to keep battling for now because I might do a quick bit of healing after all. Um, shall I heal up one of my other Pokémon? Just in case. Maybe heal up Superior, even though you've got Giga Drain. I think it's probably best to heal you up, just in case. No, tell you what, let's just let's just not worry about it. Let's just high jump kick you. Yeah. Oh, I can't believe you survived that. Ooh, I did a decent amount of damage. Question is, are you going to use another full restore? You're not. Oh, that's interesting. You're only going to use the one. 
Huh. Okay. I'm kind of disappointed. I was half hoping to use another full restore so I can uh, easily get some health back. No worries. Level 81 for me, shall. Dragon type Pokemon. Let's switch. Take a chance with High Dragon. Level 75, uh, Outrage. Let's just use Outrage. Ah, wonderful. Okay, rough skin, like who cares? Was at full health anyway, so that's not going to affect High Dragon too much. Ooh, but that's not good. Ah, I probably should have healed. Ah, oh, actually, no, I got two options here. I can have used on my attack. Or I can use... Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to risk uh, using Darmanitan, especially as you have that ability that makes your attack stronger, but also makes you less accurate. I want to make sure we have no trouble. Oh, and it's your last Pokemon as well. Okay. Lovely. So, yeah, let's just use a high jump kick. Oh, and of course you miss. That's not good. Oh, using Acid Armor. Interesting. Okay. Defense rose sharply. Not ideal. Although, because I've taken quite a bit of a hit, maybe I can get away with using Reversal. Oh dear, your blizzard failed to hit me. Oh dear. Well, you know what? Let's let's take the safe option. Let's just use Aura Sphere. No doubt that blizzard would have knocked out Mean Shell. Easily would have knocked out Mean Shell. And there we go. We defeated the champion. After the battle, a fresh wind blew through my heart. Use the battle with me as a stepping stone and move forward. Nice. And finally, long overdue, but we are now the champion of the Unova region. Well done. You certainly are an unmatched talent. Come with me. Oh, this is it. Hall of Fame, at long last. This room is the Hall of Fame. It exists to commemorate the trainers and Pokemon who have demonstrated their stellar strength and kindness of heart. Well now, Jono. With your skill and persistence, you have earned your place in this Hall of Fame. Your name, the account of your journey, and the history of your battles will all be recorded here. I hope all of this becomes a support to you and helps you grow stronger. Now, trainer. You and a Pokemon who fought by your side will be recorded in this machine. Now it's official. It's finally official. We are now the champion of the Unova region. And I think I need to change my screen layout for a bit. There we go. Into the Hall of Fame you go. Nice. And all my Pokemon have contributed in some form. League Champion, congratulations me. Nice. Well, we finally did it. Oh, and Team Plasma wasn't there to stop me this time. And, ah yes, good old Superior. And then we have Hydragon. Mean Xiao. Definitely been one of my favourite Pokemon uh, in like my later part of my adventure. Of course, who can forget my shiny Darmanitan? <laughs> Man, who'd have thought I'd find a shiny Pokemon on my adventure? 
And also, who would have thought that all my Pokemon got infected by the Pokerus virus at one point? <laughs> and then there's Zeb Striker, been with me almost as long as Superior. In fact, of course, Superior has been with my with me for the longest time, of course. But uh, yeah, Zeb Striker, I've had I think since oh since oh when do we have when do we get Zeb Striker? I think after the first gym, I think. So yeah. Kinda of forgot just how long we've had Seb Striker. High Dragon, of course, being a very well, not very, but a fairly recent addition, like just before the first attempt of the Pokemon League. Me Xiao, I caught you, I think, uh, around Icera City, I believe. And Armatan got you as a shiny Pokemon when you were a Daramaka, I think, in the Desert, if I remember rightly. And, yep, there's Zeb Striker again. Yep, pretty much been with me almost from the beginning. Uh, well, apart from the first gym battle, if memory serves me right. And then Sigilith, I think I... Oh, actually, I think I, had, I think I caught Sigilith from the desert as well. So, actually, I've had you roughly around the same time as I got uh, Daramaka. Huh, so there we go. Man, what a journey it's been. What a journey it's been, and definitely a weird one considering, yeah, this is like the first Pokemon game where you don't become the champion on your first visit to the Pokemon League, all because of Team Plasma. But you know what, now that the credits are rolling, I think this is a good opportunity to uh, just talk about uh, what I thought about, well, my adventure and also the game in general. And I have to say, it's been really good to play through this game again. Like, I... this is the first time I've properly played through this game in, like, at least 10 years. It's been a good 10 years, and even though there's a lot of things I forgot about in this game, there was also a lot of things that I definitely remembered from all those years ago, and obviously all the changes uh, that were made in this generation compared to the earlier generations definitely made this quite the experience back in the day. But I'm very glad to have checked it out and it seems like, uh, judged by all the wonderful comments I've had over the course of this Let's Play, it seems like you guys have enjoyed this uh, little playthrough as well. This nice little casual playthrough and just enjoying it together. So. For all those that have been watching from the beginning, or part way through, or even very recently, I just want to say a huge thank you for all of the support throughout this adventure. This has been some fun times, and I'm so glad I finally decided to revisit Pokemon Black. And in case anyone is wondering, yes, I do intend on doing a Let's Play of Pokemon Black 2 at some point, but... That is going to wait for some time in the future. I'm not going to go on to Pokemon Black 2 straight away because, let's be honest, it's, even though it's obviously the sequel to this game, it is, on the surface at least, it's kind of the same, and I feel like I need, like, a change of scenery, and maybe a change of generation in terms of my next Pokemon adventure. And as I've already hinted in, like, a previous episode, I've pretty much decided that I am going to be moving on to do a Let's Play of Pokemon Emerald. I did want to do a Let's Play of Pokemon Emerald uh, last year, before I ended up changing my mind and doing uh, a Let's Play of Fire Red. But you know what, I'm long overdue, like a visit to the Hoenn region. And you know what, that's what's going to be happening very soon, so keep an eye out for the first episode of my Pokemon Emerald Adventure. But whatever you guys decide to do, whether you want to follow me on that particular adventure or not, I hope you enjoyed this adventure, this episode. And you know what, let me just quickly go into the game, just in case anything new has happened, uh, before I properly end this. Uh, let's see, anything new? I wonder where you'll go next and what kind of Pokemon you'll meet. Well, unless anything happens when I step outside. No, looks like that's it. So yeah, this is well and truly it. 
Yes, there are a few like small things that I haven't done in this game, but honestly, I feel like now is the right time to wrap up this Let's Play and uh, like time to uh, close the book, I suppose you could say, in this adventure and start a brand new adventure in Pokemon Emerald very soon. So, once again, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone for all your support uh, throughout this adventure, and I hope to see you guys in the next Pokemon adventure. So, with that being said, thank you very much for watching everyone, and until next time, I shall catch you all later.